Warning. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Trying to duplicate the shown procedures may result in serious injury or even death. Gold extraction from transistors with iodine. Part 1 of 2. Hi. Today you can see how I'm extracting gold from transistors prepared in the previous video. 300 grams of decap transistors are placed in a beaker. The leaching solution is prepared in a separate flask. First, 70 grams potassium iodide are added. Followed by 30 grams of crystal iodine addition. Then 200 milliliters distilled water are added and the flask is shaken until the iodine dissolves. Transistors are covered with the leaching solution and the beaker is shaken. Since this transistors have very thin plating, the leachant with such concentration takes about 4 to 5 minutes to fully strip the gold.
When the leaching is complete, the leaching solution is decanted back into the flask. The leached transistors are washed with distilled water which is combined with the leachant in the flask. The rest of the transistors are weighted.
D-plated transistors are moved into an empty container and the rest of the transistors are added to the beaker. Same procedure transistors are covered with the etching solution and the beaker is shaken. Since the leaching solution was diluted with the washing water, it took a bit longer to dissolve the gold. Once the gold is stripped, the leachant and the washing waters are collected in the flask.
In a nutshell, a total of 620 grams decap transistors were stripped in under 15 minutes. I found this process to be very efficient when dealing with magnetic gold-plated scrap. Speed, low toxicity, selectivity and reagents regeneration are some of the advantages it offers. You can see the precipitation and melting of the gold in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below.